Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. If you're a regular, what up? <laughs> um, I just wanted to do a little reading, like a collective reading. You know, the full moon was like two days ago. And um, the full moon was like, it was beaver, beaver moon. And it's all about releasing what no longer serves you and stuff like that so hey it's been it's been hitting it's been hitting i think right now the moon is in um gemini i think hold on i'm lighting the sage before i do it yeah i just wanted to come on here and do a reading to see what the energy is like and um get like an overall passion oh that's that's crazy okay passion um so with the passion card with the passion card you may feel um confused on what you want to do or um, you don't know what to focus on because you're doing a lot of things you know this is for me oh. shoot all right two of cups the moon and the two of wands this the <laughs> okay so all right so overall is passion right so we have the two of pentacles in the moon if you can't see it and then we have two of wands so <clears throat> what i'm getting from here with these is you're you're doing too much right you're you're trying to juggle all this all the stuff that you want to do but really you have to take a take a step back because people don't realize that what is meant for you will come to you you know what i mean so you know you're doing all this stuff and you're juggling with it trying to balance it and all that other stuff but it's making you indecisive it's making you indecisive and it's like driving you nuts because you don't know what to put your focus on, right? You don't know what to put your focus on. You see all that stuff that's like going on in the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands is making a decision, right? So you, when you're like trying to balance and do all this other stuff that you're trying to do but some of the stuff isn't working that's when you make a decision on what is working for you because when you make that when you make that decision the moon card is doors opening well that's how i see it because um if you guys know the moon card the tarot card it's like two towers and then like the sun is in the middle or the sun or no the moon the the moon is in the middle right and i see those two towers as doors and the moon card is when um you're coming out of the darkness like like you see like all this stuff, all this chaos is going on. And then the moon card is like coming out of it, right? So when you make a decision of what really lights you up, then doors will start opening. Because that was, um, I can honestly relate to this. So I was driving myself nuts. I was learning about herbs making jewelry trying to learn tarot trying to do youtube and i was doing all this stuff and it was driving me crazy and i'm like 
okay i just need to take a step back take a step back take a breather and whatever is for me will come to me right so <laughs> i um i realized that only one thing stuck with me and that was tarot like i just so happened to keep grabbing my tarot cards and playing with them and learning different ways and reading them so tarot stuck with me so and now realizing that i have a passion for tarot it made me realize what kind of tarot reader i wanted to be uh and now i am practicing to be an enlightenment tarot reader aka um alchemy like i'm studying alchemy but um not in like the the deep 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 is alchemy because you know but i'm talking about like inner transformation you're reading the cards based off the artwork as you can see this is like artwork right here it's alchemy artwork so yeah so just take that step back and if you feel like you're juggling if you feel like you're juggling too much then just take a step back like you know look the ace of cups like you're gonna be fulfilled like once you take a step back take a breather and rest like all that is gonna you're gonna fill your cup up <clears throat> all right let's see let's get another magician okay so the magician card um magician card you have to use your power everybody like a lot of people aren't don't understand that they are powerful you can manifest what you want what you need in your life period <laughs> like you can't tell me wrong it you it's like people say that they want certain things right they say they want this they say they want that but do they really want it like people say that you know they manifest money okay why are you manifesting it what are you gonna do with it oh i'm gonna catch up on my bills i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that okay you're blowing it you're blowing it you're not putting it on your wall you're not you know framing it you're you're just spending it you know so when you when you manifest things you have to be you have to dig deep in what you really want to manifest if not when you manifest it is going to cause chaos it's it's literally what you put out you're going to receive like um if you manifest um what's an example i don't even know an example but you get what i mean um oh yes 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 okay so i was manifesting all this stuff right oh i want to be this oh i want to be that i want to be this i want to be that but it literally made me i just burped i was manifesting all this stuff right and it was causing me so much chaos and so much overthinking and questioning that i had to take a step back i had to take a step back and to see what really stepped out to me if that makes sense okay so let's get another card like the thing with like with passion it's it's something that lights you up something that you can't stop thinking about something that you can't stop doing even if you tried that's a passion that's a fire burning in you seven of wands so with the seven of wands is you taking that step and standing your ground right standing your ground on what you really want um like sit by yourself and just just feel what you need or what you want 
like my main thing I realized that I needed was love and not love from a man like yeah well well that that would be cool that would be cool right but love like in myself like you know love in myself everything that I do like I I I want love I desire love in many ways and that's something that it, ma it made my skin tough and like realizing everything like realizing what I can manifest and realizing that okay this is me this is my authentic me and this is what I want or even when you're stuck like in in the deep end like you're in the darkness you have the potential to get out of that like you have the potential to get out of it like it's okay to feel a certain like to feel a mood but the thing is how long are you going to stay in that mood how long are you going to stay in that mood because the longer you stay in there the longer the shit is just gonna bounce back you're gonna send it out to the you're gonna send it out it's gonna come back hit you 10 times harder and then you're still juggling you're still juggling with all kind of shit it's always good to be aware of when you're like not in you're not drowning in a way i don't, I don't want to say drowning but Okay, so with the Eight of Wands here, once you take that step back and drop everything you're doing, it's gonna come at you quick. Like the Eight of Wands is fast movement. That could be with messages, anything, anything. It's just fast movement. <clears throat> like you manifest, you manifest what you want and you're gonna receive it quick and you're gonna be fulfilled this in the ace of cups is all about fulfillment over joy you, like you see how that is like feeling over filling the cup yeah yeah so i feel like once you make a decision you make a decision on what you want and what you really want to do then you manifest right you manifest it and then all that and it just comes i used to like think i used to overthink so much when it came to passion because i always looked at it as a career like when i want to be a career <laughs> you know and it i and it tore me up it tore me up thinking about it like that that's another thing, you know, you gotta change your perspective on that too, because if you keep calling it a career to career, you're gonna see it as a job. You're gonna see it as a job if you keep saying career, career, you know? So I had to change my mindset on that. Hermit, hermit, being by yourself, knowing what you truly want, knowing what you truly want, Knowing what you truly want, and it's gonna come out, and then you're gonna make that decision. I'm telling you, I can't, I can't make this up. Like, I have known, I've known myself better just by sitting. Like, this is my sacral, sacral altar right here. Like, you see my crystal, you see my tarot deck, you see my vision boy. See all this stuff? This is where I sit and this is where I meditate at. By myself. And I was telling my brother this the other day um, on Thanksgiving. He was like, Rick, did you see anything? Like, you've been seeing Ghost Man. And I'm like, no. <laughs> like, no. Because I was telling him, I'm like, you know, I meditate every day. Every day. For 30 minutes. Like, I do 30 minutes. You know, but anyway, right. So, I meditate for 30 minutes every day here. 
by myself even when in when i don't meditate i just talk to myself i just i i realize what my values are i realize what i want to accomplish i realize my short-term goals my long-term goals what i want to manifest what all this shit i'm discovering by myself i do it right here by myself by myself and once you know what you truly desire you're gonna use your power you're gonna use your power to manifest it because people don't realize that they have potential to live their dream life their dream life they have the potential to do it they just gotta believe that's the thing um i see something else here what do i see what do i see here it's like the the hermit in the moon right while he you know how he's covering himself up he's hiding he's being by himself so he's in this in this whole area but he's about to come out like that moon right there he's going to come out he's about to come out the magician baby <laughs> you know what i mean like don't worry about the process don't worry about how long it's gonna take just know that you'll get there you know it it took me a minute to get here it took me a minute to get here but i got here the stuff that i over the overcame why not share it why not share it so people can take shortcuts you know like i don't want to see people go through what i went through if i know ways to avoid it so i mean that's what that's that's what i do that's what i do King of, King of Pentacles. King, listen, you make this decision. That whole royalty, them coins, it's coming to you. Financial stability, fulfillment, authority, and control, like wealth. It's going to come to you. <clears throat> fulfillment it's all there and the only thing that is making you lose lose yourself is that you're doing too much you're doing too much or you're overthinking everything you're just you're having your mind tell you shit you know you can be in your head you know that's where all you know that's when your shadow self steps in and your ego oh i can't do this oh i can't do this why am i doing this this is not working out you're letting your emotions overtake your intuition you can't do that there there's gotta be a balance there's gotta be there's gotta be a balance and i've had trouble with this too like Whew. overthinking yeah had trouble there i wouldn't say ignore don't ignore your emotions but what is your intuition telling you so when you get in that mood to where your shadow self kicks in oh my god i can't do this i can't do this i can't do this i can't do this no what is your intuition telling you what is your intuition telling you and that's when you gotta use that because your intuition is your power. I'm telling you, your intuition is your power. Your intuition is going to take you places. It's going to lead you on the right path. You know? So, with you always in your emotions and listening to the thoughts and stuff, it's, it's going to have you juggle. Juggle that emotion. Because you're not going to know what to do with it. Right? You're not going to know what to do with it. It's just gonna make you feel even more down, more confused, more 
feeling stuck. And one thing you gotta remember is that you're never stuck. You're never stuck. Oh. The whole tarot card should fail and mess the whole thing up. All right, let's just go, let's just end the video with the uh, Archangel Power Card. Archangel Power Card, a message from the Archangels. kind of mad I was in the zone y'all and my whole tarot cards just fell maybe that was a sign from God I was like all right that's enough they heard enough hmm? page of Ariel an exciting opportunity will be offered to you Social, social ship or pursuit of education. Time to get to work. Four of Gabriel. Time for a celebration. Abundant rewards for hard work. Release yourself from burdensome situations. <laughs> Release that shit. If it's not making you feel good, why are you holding on to it? If it's driving you crazy, why are you holding on to it? Nine of uh, Raphael, make a wish. Dreams become reality, a joyful time for life. You have the potential to manifest your dream life. I can't make it up, like, I don't even know where the other one went, but yeah, but I'm telling you. So yeah, like if you're feeling in a dumps, just, I always, I remember this uh, saying, um, when you're overwhelmed and you're overthinking a lot, it's like your mind is like a vehicle, right? So just pull over, pull over, stop the car and let all this shit go by. It's kind of like letting go and whatever is meant for you will come to you. Just like when you pull over and the cars are going by, you're going to realize what's going to stick to you. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This was my first tarot reading little session going on. And I'm kind of nervous, if you can tell. But if this helped you guys in any kind of way, please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget that you are light because you've always been light. Y'all be good. <laughs>